All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and I think I yeah, the mic, the microphone's on. All right, so I actually woke up at like 4:30 a.m. Too much energy, apparently. Uh, even though I didn't really take in that much food yesterday, and I, you know, did a lot of exercising. Relatively speaking. I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I just had too much energy. So, you know, I've been up for a few hours now. Right now it's 6.50 a.m. I've been working pretty hard over the weekend because uh, Friday night I bought the Cobra Tate Hustlers University course, the 2.0 thing. Yeah, it's so much better now than, like, you know, many years ago, you know, uh, than, than I remember. So there's, like, so much info. There's too much info in there, which is a good problem to have. So you literally could just choose whatever you want to make money with. So so for now, I'm concentrating on their crypto and stock stuff. So I'm still... I mean, today's the first day that I finally get to try it out. And so far, because of what we're about to go over, uh, unfortunately, the, the, the trader expert, uh, he's actually still short. But from what I can tell, everything's going up. So his positions are probably going to continue to lose. Because he's, he's been actually trying to trade this bear market which is just, and it's called a chop, right? It's like, it's going up and down like crazy. It's very hard to predict. So it's like, it's really screwing everything up. But at the beginning of like January 1st of this year, he started with a test account of $2,000. He got it up to $20,000, so a 10X. And then, you know, since May or June, uh, it's now down to 13,100 or so. So... Uh, yeah, but I mean, luckily for him, I mean, and I guess for all of us, you know, <clears throat> from what I can tell, relief is in sight. So, because for whatever reason, right, for whatever reason, I didn't uh, refresh all these pages. Yeah, for, so for whatever reason, people are just deciding to like, you know, just go back into the stock market. So all that central bank manipulation is so far working, all right? Um... I didn't even listen to Greg Manorino's thing yesterday because he's still way too uh, negative, uh, negative bias. I'm also seeing this same idiot, uh, Crypto Capo, still like, oh, everything's going down. We're just going to wait. We're just going to keep waiting, blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, like the, the, the bearish bias is really starting to annoy me. All right. The bearish bias is starting to annoy me. So, I don't know. But I can definitely just tell you that the, the professors, that's what they call it in the Hustlers University, they're actually smart. Well, hey, they're definitely smarter than me, so that's good. And then, two, they actually know more things. Uh, and then I, I still have to go through the entire tutorial about how to, sh how to look for tops and bottoms. So, because I'm still missing that info. Because it keeps mentioning it in the course, but you have to actually go through all the quizzes and stuff to unlock the content. Because, like, they want you to actually, you know, work. So, I don't know, there's just a lot, but, you know, we'll, 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 uh, you know, as time goes on, we'll talk about it. In fact, you know, when we get to cryptocurrencies, we definitely have to talk about sharp ratios. So, uh, that's what I just learned in the course. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> so, prepare to, prepare to blow your minds, all right? So, first off, uh, everything's going up across the board. Crypto is up, stocks are up, all right? Uh, yeah, it's 6.53 a.m. I see no sign of this uh, tanking. Uh, as you can see, Euro stocks are also going up too. All right, crude oil is up. PDBC and precious metals are up. So again, you know, everything is correlated. There's no hedge against inflation, right? And there's no hedge against bear markets unless you bu uh, buy something like SPDN or SPXS and short the market, all right? And then use that as a protective position. We go over at PDBC. Uh, well, this thing was up a shit ton, but right now it's up a little bit. So, so far, I mean, you know, things are looking pretty good, right? And we still have July 27th and we still have July 28th, right? The FOMC meeting and the GDP report. But people are already, like, jumping the gun in Wall Street. So, you know, I still... I mean, I'm definitely seeing that people really don't want to deal with a bear market anywhere and they're just buying shit, but, you know... I'm, you know, I still want to be a little defensive because we really need that confirmation. Because at least in the stock market uh, section of the university, 
The stock trader guy said that the problem is we've had two months of shitty trading conditions, but it's almost over, right? So I can kind of figure out, oh, okay. And he also has said something like that too. You know, he said we have to wait. He didn't say he had to, but he said we have the 27th, 28th of that. Well, he just said the Fed meeting. He didn't mention the GDP report. You and I know those are the, the two events that determine everything, and that's why everything's like all over the place, right? Because we look over, where is it, right? Because we look over here, the, the, the Atlanta Fed is saying that we are in a recession, we continue to be uh, in one. And then by tomorrow, they're going to update this number again, which is a, a lot faster than they normally do. So I want to see if uh, this number is going to, how it's going to change. Now, of course, if they're lying, they might just try to, like, set this to, like, zero or something, right? But everyone's already been kind of talking about there's a recession, it's coming sooner, it's coming sooner. So, eh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I think they'll just simply just get it over with. Because I also saw another article that said the Fed just wants to induce a small recession now, get it over with, and then deal with inflation. And that's exactly what it, it, it's looking like. So, and not surprisingly, because everyone's thinking, okay, it's going to be back to the good old times. Everyone's buying up everything, commodities, crude oil, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. All right, so bond markets, I mean, there's basically no point really looking at this anymore because we know that if it goes out of control, right, the Fed and the central banks and ECB are just going to buy it back up. But, I mean, it's still okay to just, you know, take a look at this. Oh, and yeah, uh, they're going to have a court hearing tomorrow in De uh, Wilming Wilmington, Delaware tomorrow for the Twitter Elon Musk thing. So hopefully, uh, you know, uh, you know, Twitter will just jump. Because right now, Twitter is just hovering around 3750 or whatever because they're waiting for, you know, the court stuff. So, and I checked Will Chamberlain's Twitter. He hasn't said anything new, so he's still in Twitter. So as long as he's in Twitter, I'll be in Twitter, and then, you know... You know, boost my stock market account to get ready for uh, some stock option plays. But anyway, uh, I've been looking at it since I woke up this morning, 4.30 a.m. Yeah, U.S. debt markets look pretty solid, all right? Okay, so we do need to talk about crypto, all right? Because I have this article open. I'm not going to read it. But basically, if you want, like, you know, a so-called kind of reason why markets are up today, it's because people are pricing in a smaller rate hike this time around. You know, that's all it is. All right. So, let me see. Have they updated this shit yet? Yes, updated July 14th. Thank God. All right, so M3 money supply. What? Where's the June numbers? Is it not out yet, I guess? Okay, so it's slightly... Yeah, geez. All right. Okay, so they updated M3 for May, so it takes them a while to... Okay, so they're not really pulling that much cash out of the system. But they're not really increasing it by a whole lot either. They're just kind of leaving it level. Okay. Um, I mean, there's really no Fed repo, so I could probably ignore that. Ignore that. Okay, so one thing that I'm going to tell you is there's actually... I mean, the Hustlers University course is pretty adamant about this. Right? I, oh, yeah, and I don't have the lights on because it's too hot in, out he, in here, and I have the AC on. So, okay, that is actually really dark. And it's another turn. Oh, God. The, the things I do for you people. All right, I really need to turn off the light because I cannot generate any more heat. All right. Okay. So. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so I've been learning in the university course something called a sharp ratio. Now, I remember back in my college days uh, in finance class, we actually talked a lot about it, but I kind of just glazed over it. This time around, it actually is not only very applicable, but it actually is pretty foundational. Aside that plus risk management. So, a sharp ratio <clears throat> basically tells you I wonder how I can explain this simply. When you have like a set of like assets or securities, right? So stocks or whatever, or in our specific case, cryptocurrencies, you want to you want to figure out which of these produce the most returns, right? So there is actually something called a. Um, I wonder what I should type in here. Modern portfolio theory. 
I specifically need this chart. Yep, there it is. Uh, Corporate Institute. Uh, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I guess we'll look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so basically, this is really complicated, but I have to try to figure out how, and also you're technically not supposed to know this because you're supposed to pay for this, but uh, I do want people, oh, that's right, I forgot to change the setting defaults. I got to get my affiliate link for uh, Hustlers University because I do want the commissions for that. All right, so anyway, um, basically there's an optimal... There's an optimal point where you can buy the best quote unquote asset or security. Well, let's just call it the crypto, right? Let's just, let's just try to make it a little more simple for me to explain. All right, this applies to actually any market, but it also applies to cryptocurrency. So there's an actual best quote unquote best cryptocurrency that you can buy that will give you the most returns in comparison to all the other clowns, right? So the problem is, which one is it? Right? And it's obviously changing because, you know, prices go up and down like crazy, right? So, for example, Polygon and Avalanche are going up like crazy, right? Because they've been beating them down a lot. I'm kind of wondering when Phantom's going to have its day in the uh, sunshine. So, basically, uh, the point at which it's, like, the most optimal, you can just... It's the... It's the... It's when the amount of money that you put in, aka risk-free rate or borrowing money, right, touches the, they call it the efficient frontier, but I just call it like the amount of money you make, right? So when these two things touch, that's the thing you want to buy. So when you buy something that's further away from these lines, these two upper lines, the less money you're going to make, right? So for example, uh, long story short, Basically, you want to be long in Bitcoin and Ethereum and nothing else, all right? Because uh, because the because those cryptos are like further away from this from this point, and the way you measure that is something called the Sharpe ratio. So basically, so if you let's take a look at this, a seven-day percentage. You can see that Ethereum has actually been outperforming everything, including Bitcoin, and not surprisingly, the Sharpe ratio on Ethereum compared to all the other coins. Is, is the highest, right? The one exception to that is Polygon and uh, Avalanche, right? I'm not sure why Avalanche is uh, pumping. I have to check the news for it. But Polygon is pumping because of Disney, right? They actually have a real partnership with Disney, again, for like their NFTs or whatever. I mean, I don't know the whole details. I just know, oh, partnership with Disney. Polygon's good. Oh, Sphere is on Polygon. Great. We're going to make a lot of money. So... You know, so yeah, so this is kind of like what, you know, people try to do. They try to find the next big pump. The, the problem is you're just not going to really work because there's just too many of these coins out here, right? There's just too many, right? If you go with the tried and true formula, right, over a long period of time, it's really Ethereum or Bitcoin. So we go to trading view. Problem is, I'm hoping that it's not going to be trading view Ethereum. I'm kind of hoping it's not going to ask me to log in. All right, so here's Ethereum USD. All right. Um, fuck, it's going to ask me to log in, isn't it? Because I need to add a technical indicator so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. Technicals? No, that's not it. Yeah. Science, damn it. All right, we're going to have to... Um, yeah, I really don't want to log in, as I'm, but I really want to show you something, too. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna have to blink this out. All right, just give me a second. I'm gonna have to. Try, I'm gonna have to log in. Sign in. Uh, email. Actually, what is my login for this? Hold on. Trading view. Uh, it's asking for my username and password. Okay. Um, I don't even know what it is. Oh, okay, hold on. I gotta find. I gotta find it. Okay. Okay. Just give me a second. Oh, okay. Uh, 
never. Try any of our free plans for 30 days. Yeah, I kind of don't care. All right, let's try this again. All right, I gotta check to make sure. See more on an advanced chart. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, I just gotta make sure that there's nothing personal revealing info. And, import, and interestingly enough, it's already saved to my settings. Okay, good, okay. So I can show you, all right. There we go. Uh, it's going to be a little hard because my camera is kind of covering it, but I kind of need my camera to be up on the upper right. Okay. So the sharp rate, I mean, technically I need to look for just normal sharp ratio, but it doesn't show that here. So the closest thing I could find was something called the trailing sharp ratio. So I'm hoping that'll be good enough. All right. So you can choose any of these lines. You just have to pick one and stay consistent. So I just choose the purple line because it's the one the, on, the, on the highest. So you'll see that the purple line for Ethereum is, it might be a little hard to see, but over here, it's, oh, I can't move the mouse. It says 0 0.09, all right? And you can see that everything keeps going down. So if we compare this to Bitcoin, so let's say we do Bitcoin, all right? I'm going to choose Binance Tether. Now look at the sharp ratio for Bitcoin. It's 0 0.81, negative 0 0.81. So it's way lower than Ethereum. So what does that mean? It means that if you had $100 in Bitcoin and $100 in Ethereum, you would have made way more money in Ethereum than Bitcoin. All right, that's what the sharp ratio is. Because it basically just tells you how close you are to these uh, tangents. Like when the... This yellow line touches the efficient frontier, right? This is how you figure out how to, you know, pick the best uh, coin. And I don't want to give away the whole thing because I'm not supposed to. But basically, the crypto course talks a lot about this, right? And they explain why buying most shit coins or all coins are a bad idea, right? Because specifically because of this. So, but of course, if you're watching my channel, so you know that I specialize in finding like those actual good coins. The problem is, you know, money, I mean, we're still technically in a bear market, all right? It's starting to turn around, it looks like, and so it'll be a very brief one, and it's pretty mild, all things considered, but, you know, I still, we still need confirmations, and we're definitely not going to get it until July 28th, so it's another 9, 10 days. It just feels like forever, you know? So we do XRP, right? Because everyone keeps going XRP army, and I always just found that annoying. Well, let's look at the sharp ratio. Oh, look at that. It's negative 1.37. Right? I know it's a little hard to see, but um, I, mean, I could. Oh, yeah. Let me zoom in. There you go. Yeah, that's much better for you. I don't want to zoom in too much because you because you because in order for this to really make sense, you really need a long period of time of, of data. That gives it more uh, accuracy. So look at this negative 1.37. So it performed even worse than Bitcoin. And if you actually backtest it, right, by going over your, you know, thingies here, the price charts over a long period of time, you'll actually see that's actually true. So let's do one more. Now, the good news is my favorite altcoin of all time, of course, is Binance coin. Love Binance. I can find the one that is t Tether. Okay, Tether. All right. Their sharp ratio is zero. So it actually performed better than bitcoin i already forgot what the sharp ratio for bitcoin was so it's already out, so bitcoin outperformed binance outperformed bitcoin so that's pretty nice that's pretty nice right so it's my favorite coin so and it's actually true because i've noticed that there are many days where uh, binance coin binance coin goes up as a percentage way more than bitcoin does and that's the point but you know but anyway uh, whatever the case is, I've dropped all my negativity towards Ethereum. I mean, mostly because, well, specifically because in the Hustlers University, they have trading signals. So I'm just following that. And right now we're overweighting Ethereum. Uh, so, yeah. So, so yeah. So this, so this sharp ratio is something, I'm actually going to do this. Sharp ratio. I am actually going to link you to this. You really need to read this. Um, well, I don't know what Sortino is. They didn't talk about that, so you could, I guess, ignore it. 
Um, I don't know. This isn't really that good. Uh, maybe I'll actually... You know, I want to link to this one instead. This one's a little, like, I don't know what the hell... Yeah, I mean, I guess you're that curious. Yeah, I'll link to this. You really need to read this. I mean, all you have to remember is you want to be as close to this... You want to be as close to touching this efficient frontier as humanly possible. So, so yeah. So, basically, uh, Hustlers University basically says buying altcoins is a stupid idea. Oh, let's do Cardano, right? Cardano, people love Cardano. I guess we could do Solana, too, but that thing's been getting hit so hard. Uh, Cardano. Because Cardano has a very bad sharp ratio, if I remember. Yeah, it's negative 1.36. Yeah, it's, it's dog shit. Alright, we look at Solana. Uh, let's do... Well, FTX is big. Yeah, we could do Solana on FTX. Uh, actually, it's been pumping recently, so its sharp ratio has gone way up now. So it's actually at 0 0.42. So Ethereum is still outperforming Solana, right? So you had 100 bucks, but according to these sharp ratios, you should still buy Ethereum. Now, of course, things could change. I mean... This thing could go way up all of a sudden because of, you know, whatever news events. And then Ethereum could go down because, let's just say, something goes wrong with the Ethereum 2.0 merger, right? Because the next big the next big thing for that is, is, is in September, right? So maybe something goes wrong. But that's kind of like the problem. Like, you're, you're basically gambling, right? You're trying to gamble which one of these will outperform the benchmark cryptocurrencies, right? And right now, the benchmark cryptos... Bitcoin and Ethereum specifically, or just outperforming everyone, you know, over a long period of time. So it's kind of like that. So, I, so I, I found that very, very interesting. All right. So anyway, we went over a lot. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to write in this YouTube title because I have to talk about, I have to write sharp ratio and bear market might be over kind of thing. So, yeah, because right now I'm starting to turn bullish. I'm like cautiously bullish now. But very cautious because we're talking like 55 percent. Like we still we still have a lot of problems, but it's starting to look like people, uh, Wall Street and the smart money is like, yeah, we don't care. Let's just keep going and buying stuff, right? Because all these bear market, all these bear people, crypto capo, I think even crypto whale and Richard Hart and even Greg Manorino, they just keep insisting everything's going to implode. It's like okay. <sighs> It, it's just like it's just so frustrating it's just so frustrating right you know like the reason why i want to listen to different people is because i want to listen to people who are flexible enough to go hey i think things are changing so let's talk about something else all right and, and it's just annoying when people are like no we're i'm a perma fucking bear no i'm a perma bull it's i i hate that so much i hate that so much so but you know, whatever. I mean, that's just how it goes. That's why you, you always just, like, have to think on your own and then just see for yourself, you know. Because, again, you know, is inflation coming down? I actually say yes because I see prices. In fact, I went to Target again yesterday because when I go for my walk, I just wind up going to Target because I figure, you know, I'll just stock up on food if the food shortage gets worse. Mac and cheese, that actually dropped in price yet again. Like, prices are actually dropping, and I live in New York City, so I see it with my own eyes. It's still, everything's still kind of expensive compared to before, but at least I see prices dropping from where it was before, right? And that's the point, right? And it's actually consistent with what, unfortunately, the mainstream media is saying and, you know, uh, all this other stuff that we're looking at. Oh. But everything's going to implode. Everything's going to collapse. Oh, it's, it, it's a disaster. Uh, everything's going to shit. It's like... It's like... I, I just, it's just like, man, this is just so annoying, you know? But whatever. That's why we do these videos. And the good news is if we do finally get out of this dumbass bear market, and like maybe Bitcoin's like 30 grand, you know, we could actually go back to covering crypto projects because now money's back in the markets. People are going to start pumping like shit coin projects again. And then, of course, I'll still do these kind of videos because these are really important because the market is the foundation for everything. The Fed is the foundation. Central banking and the Fed are the foundation of everything. The only reason why we make money or lose money is because of central banks. All right. And central banks has to make people lose money because they have to rein in inflation. All right. Because the problem with inflation is if it gets too high, 
everything gets uh, goes into hyperinflation and then everything collapses all right you know so you know we don't want that plus I'm also getting very hungry so I gotta I gotta try to feed myself before the opening bell because you know I gotta get ready for stock trading so wish me luck uh, like subscribe share this video around uh, thank you again to all the uh, old and new people watching this video and um, come to think of it I think I might actually put this video in the playlist because this sharp ratio stuff is actually really really important yeah I'm actually gonna do that I'm gonna actually do that so uh, yeah so thank you again to all the old and new people watching this uh, video or channel welcome welcome thank you thank you and uh, it was a bit of a long video but because I had to explain something that's just radically different all right because I've already learned so much from the Hustlers University and I it it makes so much sense now why I because I intuitively and somewhat figured this all this stuff out on my own but the problem is it's not refined and there's gaps and like flaws in my thinking right but obviously I'm doing something right because I'm still able to make money right I'm just not making enough for now that's gonna be changing uh, thankfully so you know so now now I'm beginning to learn why exactly that is and it's like oh my god I can't believe this stuff actually you know works so definitely go over this video again right skip ahead to the uh, sharp ratio stuff and then <coughs> I'm not gonna say all the stuff but um, there's a reason why there's actually gonna be some changes in the way I start investing now all right so yeah uh, you see I'm not supposed to tell you because you're supposed because this is actually private info from the hustlers University so I guess I'll so I guess I'll keep it to myself, but I'm going to start dropping a link to my affiliate link to that, so, yeah, but anyway, uh, let's see, but yeah, uh, there is actually a method to the madness to this, so now it actually makes sense, all right, so, anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow, uh, after July 28th, if the markets do not implode, because we're going... Because I'm assuming that we're finally going to get the uh, official confirmation of a recession, and then I need to see how the market reacts to that. Because Wall Street can see this. This is publicly available information. So, you know, if if I want to hazard a guess, Wall Street has already priced in us being in a recession right now. That's why we've had this problem of uh, since the beginning of January of this year. All right, and lo and behold, the Fed now GDP has been reporting that we've been in a recession for exactly this same time, the beginning of January of this year. All right, because remember, markets price in everything, and then they look forward to the future. All right, now the only thing is, I don't know how far in the future they look forward—three, six, nine, twelve months. All right, so they're already starting to buy shit back up. So might might not be so bad. Might not be so bad. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, you know what? Mm, I don't know. Which picture do we want? Which pi oh, I'm going to do this because it's got more colors. So I'll see you all tomorrow. We're uh, kind of a long video, but we're adding this to the playlist because we actually went over fundamentally and really important stuff. So now we're all going to get richer. So join the Hustlers University. Or you could just wait for me to post my successful stock trades if I get any. And I actually checked his history. Yeah, it actually works. Um, I'm gonna avoid. I'm I'm gonna avoid maybe taking trades though uh, until he starts going long the market, the stock trader guy in the Hustlers University, because I know things are going up, but he doesn't know that yet. He kind of suspects it, but he still has a bearish bias. But you know, he's a smart guy, so he'll eventually figure it out. And he knows the same things I do too, right? And plus other things. So you know, on top of that, he did grow it from the account from 2000 to twenty thousand dollars so I mean hey can I do that yet no so who's smarter he is <laughs> all right so yeah I'll see you uh, tomorrow and uh, enjoy the rest of your day or night and um, yeah I really like this video I really like doing this this is this is so fun I'm gonna make so much money you're gonna make so much money hopefully and then uh, you know I'll, I'll get out of here Oh, there's so much work to do. I didn't even explain everything else. Eh, we'll wait till next time. All right, see you tomorrow. Thanks.